6 a.m. Uh, from Dallas today I'm driving up to Colorado I'll just cross into Colorado uh, by the end of the day I've got like an eight nine hour drive ahead of me um, but this drive is the boring drive there's not really much to stop at or much to do so it's kind of just eight hours of getting through it um, <laughs> and hopefully not being too bored Having an early morning on the road. Tony's asleep in the back. Lucky him. This drive is also like the most boring drive ever. There's not really much to do on this part of the road. Um, most of the time you're just driving past like farms in Texas. Um, one thing I did here, actually, though, is to keep yourself entertained. You're supposed to uh, count the pieces of roadkill that you see. I've actually already seen, like, three. One was, like, right in the middle of the road, so I almost ran over it, too. But uh, not much else to do other than that. But... <laughs> You know, I love passing by all the horses and cows on the side of the road because I think they're super cute, but I don't love the smell that comes with it. Nothing like sitting in your car and having it smell like manure for a long drive, so that's really fun. So. Hey baby, good morning. Thank you. You too. The absolute chokehold that these sandwiches have on me is insane. For some reason, I freaking love the sausage egg and cheese McGriddles from McDonald's. I could eat them every day for breakfast, but I don't because that's not a good idea. <laughs> They're definitely my favorite road trip breakfast. Oh, there it is. There it is. <laughs> I got some more for you. Don't worry. Don't worry. Come on. Oh my god, he's too lazy. He doesn't want to sit up. <laughs> stop of today before we get to where we're staying um, and we're going to Kapolin or Kapolin Volcano um, I don't really know <laughs> what it is too much I mean obviously it says it's a volcano um, but I don't know much about it other than that so hopefully it's something interesting to look at and stop at I just saw my favorite sign that I love to see while I'm driving. It's, uh, I've seen it twice now actually, and both times in different places in New Mexico. So I don't know what it is about New Mexico, but the sign basically says, don't pick up uh, hitchhikers in this area because they might be prisoners because there's a prison somewhere nearby here, <laughs> which is always a fun thing to see. I mean, not that I was gonna pick up a hitchhiker anyways, but I kind of want to see one because be a little bit interesting but I definitely won't pick them up uh, no prisoners in this car today maybe a different day but I've got places to be I don't have time for hitchhikers there's a road apparently uh, that you can drive up to on the volcano so we're gonna drive up that uh, and there's a dog path also that Tony can walk on so we'll probably walk through that too uh, and hopefully it's a cool view I think I'm looking at it I mean it's kind of hard to hide a volcano when you're this close so I think I'm looking at it right now and it looks pretty cool and pretty big uh, I'm excited to look down into it more than look at it because right now um, it's just kind of like a big hill um, and I never looked into a volcano I don't think so that should be pretty interesting I just got to the top of the drive of Kaplan Volcano. The drive was really gorgeous 
and there's lots of snow around here and the views are incredible oh my gosh and so now i'm going to take a little walking path um about 0.2 miles really short down to see a little bit more of the volcano and see inside so here we go walking down the trail right now there's a lot of snow and a little bit of ice i have to be pretty careful but um if i'm being honest the volcano part of the volcano the inside is meh um there's some lava rocks which i guess is pretty cool um and it's a giant crater honestly i think the best part of this is the view from the top uh i think it's worth it it's pretty cool up here just got to uh, my hotel in Trinidad, Colorado, uh, staying at the Holiday Inn Express. It's a little bit colder here <laughs> than it was in Texas, um, but I'm here early, which is nice, so I'll get a good night's rest, and then tomorrow will be my second and final day of driving, and uh, I'm excited to be in Colorado. <laughs> morning today is day two of my road trip uh to denver um we're leaving the hotel right now i've got some hotel breakfast with me in the car um and tony's mad at me now because i haven't given him any of the sausage yet but it was too warm for him to eat so we'll get some in a second um right now we are starting our way onto a scenic drive uh my mom sent this to me but um, it's a little bit off the path, so uh, it's going to take us a little bit longer to get to where we're going, but I think that's worth it um, for the nice views and everything. So now it's Tony's turn for sausage, so he's excited. These are the Cokedale coal coke melting things. They're okay. The view is better. <laughs> There's some more deer right here. So I'm trying to get closer to them. So right now we're walking out to the Great Sand Dunes National Park. There it is, lots of sand. Uh, Tony can walk around basically everywhere in this section here, so that's really nice. So we're gonna go on a little bit of a longer walk up to the sand um, and just enjoy the views. It's really gorgeous out here. Got beautiful snow covered mountains, and then you know, just all around, and then obviously the giant sand dunes in the back. Um, but it should be lots of fun. So, we're walking up to the actual dunes, which is a little bit of a ways from the parking lot, which is back there. And here are the dunes up here. Tony's enjoying it, he's taking a leisurely stroll. Um, it's still just sand. I wish I had brought like a snowboard or sled or something to go down it, but then also you'd have to hike all the way up, but it's okay. So now we're making our way over to Denver finally, um, but we're going on another more scenic route. So instead of going through, um, Colorado Springs. We're instead going through uh, a more mountain route and we're taking Highway 285. Uh, the views here are gorgeous. It's such a nice drive. Uh, there's not too many cars driving either, so that's always nice. And it's just really pretty and, you know, makes it a little bit more uh, exciting to do rather than just highway. So it was a good choice to take this route. Also something that's cute on this road is you get to see some of the smaller towns uh, in Colorado and that was on Route 12 too, the Highway of Legends scenic route. Like you just get to see a lot of towns with character and I think that's really fun.